Welcome to Chapter 6. In this one, I will be showing you how to make UV texture maps. You there! Are you ready to texture? Alright, let's begin. So now that you have your awesome 3D model, he's going to need some clothes. So we can do this one of two ways. You can either just texture the model as is, or you can texture it as skin, and then have another 3D model in addition to this one that would represent the cloak. So first things first, we need to make a UV map so we know where to texture. So go into edit mode and zoom in. And now we need to start marking some seams. This will let us unfold the 3D model into a 2D plane that lets us draw over top of it with clothing, hair, faces, whatever you want to be texturing, belts, pretty much anything. So select somewhere around here for the arm, and then hit Control e And this will bring up the Edge Specials menu, and choose Mark Seam. I've already marked all my seams here, Just to give you an example. There's one here on the inside of the arm, and just at the end of the wrist, one for the palm of the hand, and one for the top of the hand. Put these seams wherever you think it would make it easier for you to do your 2D texture. So now what you want to do is select everything, hit U for the UV calculations menu, and hit unwrap. Then go over to your side, and right down to here and then choose UV slash image editor and you should get something that looks like very similar to this and this is your texture map and this is what you'll be using to make your texture a lot of the tools that exist in the 3d view also exist here so G is to grab A is to select and deselect B you can drag a box S is to scale so pretty much what you want to do here is you want to grab stuff and move them into places, fix up the vertices, because they aren't going to be the nicest. So just fix them up nicely, make make sure they look nice. Like, for instance here, the top of the hand needs a lot of work that doesn't look anything like the hand. Here's the bottom, and that looks just fine, but this needs to be altered. So grab the vertices and move them into their proper place until this portion looks like this. And with the magic of video editing, I am already finished. So, now that you have your finished map, go down to UVs, right at the top, Scripts, and save UV Face Layout. This pop-up will pop up, hit OK, and then down here, choose where you want to save it. Right now, by default, it'll save in the location of your Blender file, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit save UV. So after you've exported it, all you need to do is import it to your favorite photo editing program. Mine is Flash. I use Flash for pretty much absolutely everything that I do. And textures for 3D models are no exception. So pretty much just start taking the line tool and drawing on top of it. Uh, let's give him a fun little tie. Now remember, this is a 3D file, so you want to keep in mind that when you're making your textures, that it will be wrapped around a 3D object. Here is the texture map that I made for my low-poly ninja, and if I remove this, just make it like that, you will notice that the UV texture map matches very closely to what the wireframe shows. For instance, here in the shoulder, where it comes to a point, 
that's where the shoulder comes to a point in the actual 3D model. It's very important to follow the lines that are provided to you by the grid because they will make your model look better and animate better in the end. Here's another example of a UV texture map and you'll notice here by the wireframe that the texture doesn't completely cover it and that's okay as long as the image has alpha channels like a, a PNG or you know whatever you want to use as long as it has alpha channels then when it's being displayed on the 3D model they will also be transparent. In most cases making clothing for your 3D model is extremely easy. For instance if I want to make a uh, shoulder armor thingy all I would need to do is select the shoulder Maybe I'll grab this part of the arm as well. And then Shift D du to duplicate. And then Alt S to enlarge it. You can also use it to shrink it. But this is a very handy tool because it enlarges whatever you select. So there we go. Now hit P to make it its own separate object. Hit Tab and then enter that object and then just start editing it. So, make this part a little bigger, and then, and then cut it right here, scale it down, and now he's got like puffy sleeves. And you can do the same thing for his entire outfit, whether you want to give him a skirt or a badass pair of gloves. But let's get rid of it because we don't want it anymore. Because I already have some stuff made here. Getting the clothing ready for texturing is done the same way that you get the body ready for texturing. Just select the different portions, add edges, and then unwrap it and then export it and texture on top of it. After you're ready to apply your texture to your 3D model, just select the object you're trying to apply that texture to, hit tab, and then go over here and you'll notice that your vertices is already there. So select all of them, or you know, I don't I don't think it really matters. But I do just to be safe. Then go to image, open, and then search for your image. And there we go. Texture is loaded nicely into there. And we'll go back over here and we'll notice that, well, it hasn't really made a visual difference yet. So we'll go down to here and change it to texture. Right now it's just viewing 3D object vertices only. There we go. Nicely textured. But now you're looking at it and thinking, well, hey, Aren't those black parts supposed to be transparent? And you would be exactly right. What you'd want to do is select everything, go down to this option right here, go to texture faces, and choose everything that you see here. So texture, and set this to clip alpha, and then hit copy, and it'll copy that option to all the other faces in the 3D model. And there you go. Nice and transparent. In the beginning, texturing might seem a little tricky or hard, but don't let that discourage you. In the beginning it is very hard, but it gets much, much easier. So keep it up. And thanks for watching.